by far and away, the number one issue that learning leaders, in my opinion, have is the pace of change. If we take six months to build a very complex e-learning, the world will be drastically different in six months. That course, no matter how good it is, will be irrelevant. I think the biggest challenge is time. You know, there's so much competitive uh, energy out there and, and it's you want to be the first one to market to really get that recognition from the consumer. And so for us, you you know, what, what may have taken us, you know, 12 or 16 weeks to deliver on something to pull together a, a training plan and, and get it executed uh, out to the restaurants, now we, we're charged with, okay, can we do this in six weeks? As a project manager, even just getting subject matter expert time to weigh in on courses and review courses can really be challenging because everybody's busy, everybody's doing four, five, six jobs in one day. The biggest challenge for learning leaders today, I think, is just making sure that you're meeting all the needs of the multi-generational learners that are coming through. So how can we support each generation in their learning needs and offer enough learning modalities that we can uh, meet that whole base within our organization? I think one of the biggest challenges is the workforce is coming up and the expectations they have. We've done training in a traditional way for a long time and we are really in this change right now where the workforce has had technology in their hands since they were born. I think the biggest challenge is everyone thinking training so easy. I think, you know, learning leaders are not really valued enough in the companies and they see it as just it's nice to have and not a must-have so we had to change that image of us being a must-have and that we're needed in every head of conversation every new beginning i think the biggest challenge facing learning and development professionals and training organizations hasn't really changed it's always to prove value, prove why they're relevant, prove how they can make an impact to the organization, really align themselves every year to the organizational goals and strategy. I've heard a lot this week about strategic alignment and how to ensure that you're having an impact on performance. And I think that there's the age old question of how to measure things. And I hear us moving away less from those measures in a certain sense and more into just connecting right into the business measures and the business metrics and what's important to the business. I think the biggest challenge is for us to learn what we're going to change the organization to and how to envision that so that if we're going to create a plan for change, right, a plan for transformation, we have to have a vision of what it's going to change to.